Hi, I'm Matess Wood from Forward Adventures and today we're going to talk to you about daily life living on the road and how we cook and clean and organise our pantry. We got up this morning and did some baking. So I try to have some healthy snacks for the boys on the road, otherwise they're just begging for the muesli bars, the sweets and everything like that. And usually at home I do the zucchini slice, the little muffins, protein balls. So I try to keep to the same sort of meal as, and snacks as I do normally. But that does take down time and we need time to cook obviously the regular meal so I juggle all of that between the regular cooking. So come and have a look at how I do all of that and how I've organised my pantry for full-time life on the road um, and just everyday cooking. Come have a look. So our caravan is the lifestyle camper trailer. Paul um, did a lot of modifications to it and we're still doing modifications as we go on the run as well as we find that things um, either need changing to suit whatever our requirements are but things like um, just mounting a small towel rail down here um, which hadn't come with the van we've added. Um, this little extension leg over here which I need to lengthen um, has actually been added just to add stability to the table there. Um, Paul did a lot of work in the site under the kitchen area here. There used to be the water pump under there which was in a completely useless spot so Paul dismantled that and has tucked it in under there. Um, other than that it was just a blank cavity so we've created these drawers for the cutlery which are actually stationary drawers um, just from office works, 20 bucks a tray. There's two of them we've stacked up on top of each other and um, use these dividers to put together cutlery because of course on the market there's nothing that comes in the right size to just divide up your cutlery so you can quickly find things. Um, the pantry that I have stocked here is a complete, let's say, version of what I would have at home just cut down for what would ever fit. So we have a lot of spices in one corner. Um, just a few dried emergency things like the, um, what have we got here? Rice, coconut flavored rice. Um, I've only used it once, your mashed potato, because it just seemed like that thing to have mashed potato in there. Um, I can't eat eggs and dairy, so I've got some um, egg replacement powder there, but we've got, um, the corn thin crackers for the kids when they're starving. Um, we've got various types of breadcrumbs, um, pasta of course, eggs, um, nuts and different types of sugars and then of course all of the healthy things like chocolate spread to put on toast in the morning and ingredients to make the healthy yeah. mueslis. Um, so that's in my everyday drawer. And then over here, um, again, when that comes as a caravan, when you buy it new, um, none of those drawers are there. So you do have to kit that out and work out the best storage solution to have for all of your boxes and the way that you want to store everything so that when you go over corrugated roads, everything doesn't sh shake around like that. Um, we call this our vertical pantry. So it's all Tetris in there. But um, again, uh, we have just put a little shelf there that's... Um, temporary but uh, this one we've knocked in solidly and again really hard to find um, shelving or boxes that fit nicely within the space. Um, it is um, a bit of a struggle to get things out like there's a process to having to pull this out and then you've got all of my Asian sauces for example and then all of the condiments and other things by the way this is amazing and makes every Asian meal so much better um, and it's stocked in Woolies um, chili sauce by the way um, cordial bottle this Aldi cordial bottle is the only one that fits in there so I have to keep refilling that I'm waiting to get to an Aldi in Bunbury to refill it in our Fortuna we've had the drifter camp kitchen storage system installed and it is pretty awesome. 
this is the rest of my pantry. So I started with getting these Kmart containers and working out which of them, which size, holds exactly one kilo of the flowers, rice, oats, um, the standard measure that packages come in. And from there I had to work backwards to work out what was the height of the boxes that go into these drawers and then worked out which ones fit into the van versus which ones fit into the car. In the end we've got all of the sugars, the flowers and the rice in here and you know really important things like these. Oats is the tallest version of the jar um, container. Um, and then coffees, a few drinks and other medication. In our other drawer is um, the crockery that we use when we go away for uh, picnics or if we're going to go for a bivouac um, without the caravan. So we've got a complete separate set of utensils here. Um, more plates and bowls there. Um, just one utensil each. Um, sorry one set of utensils each um, person and that just makes it so much easier that I don't have to worry about oh I've forgotten this knife or that sort of olive oil condiment <laughs> um, if we went away on a picnic so those are really cool. A couple of things that we've found monumentally easier to deal with um, in terms of storage space with our new camper van setup is um, our smart nesting cookware um, which the handle pops up like that pops off like this and there's three pots in there which all nest together and that would be the fry pan as well it's a uh, non-stick but after about six months of use there it's is starting to scrape off so you have to be careful with plastic utensils to deal with those the other thing that is amazing is our pop-up kettle storage way store it in the sink when it all comes in together under the van at pack-up time it's great we've got some silicon pop-up bowls this one was from snowies and colander in another bowl aldi specials because i love aldi um, but yeah, just anything that pops up and stows away nice and easily, beautiful safe spacing, space saving measures. <laughs> We've got three main methods of cooking in our lifestyle camper trailer setup. Um, the Dometic dual burner stove here came with the caravan um, when we bought it for picnics or when we're out in the car or if it's really bad weather and we want to cook inside the van we can get this little click clack burner out it's a propane jigger and um, that's really handy um, also if I need to have three saucepans on the go at the same time and uh, for barbecuing and roasting and doing all my baking um, we've got the Weber BBQ as well our little Weber barbecue, baby barbecue here, um, we've got actually plumbed in. And the reason that we decided to buy it um, was actually a month and a half into the trip. We thought we'd be able to use the camp oven. Um, but in the three months that we've now been traveling, we've only had two campfires. It's been summer season and there's no fires allowed. It's complete, total fire bans. Um, in the national parks, even on not hot days, no fires are allowed. Um, so we weren't able to do any baking, um, no barbecues. Um, it was getting to be a real struggle. So by the time Christmas and Boxing Day sales came, we're like, let's get the BBQ. And it was a present to ourselves. So this guy is a great thing. We had to get all of the um, gas connections sorted out while we're in Adelaide, but I am able to bake. I've got our little cooking thing there. Um, I use a trivet to put the cake pan on. We bought as the accessory the roasting trivet and um, Weber also supplied these very thin, cheap and nasty, but branded Weber um, roasting tray, drip trays, I guess you call them. Um, so the economies of roasting in your Weber while camping are 
great. So at your local Woolies or Coles or wherever you happen to be, we look for um, the vacuum bagged roast cuts of meat. So beef or a lamb, chicken, chicken's great too. And um, chuck them in the freezer straight away and let it defrost for a couple of days. But the point is that you roast it one night, there's one dinner and you've probably got enough for about 10 to $15 worth of meat there for at least two lunches after, and that's for two adults. The kids don't really eat the meat. Um, so that saves you a lot of money on buying hams or extra um, meat for dinners and leftovers. And you can always recycle those into lots of other meals. So just getting the roasting um, is a great way to save funny, <laughs> funny money. <laughs> For our family of four, um, of the three months that we've been travelling now, I've found that we have been averaging a big grocery run um, about every seven or eight days. Um, at home, I'm in a good routine of um, doing our groceries fortnightly with Paul doing a big meat shop maybe once every two months. But we've got a separate massive freezer in the laundry and a fridge slash freezer and a big pantry as well. Obviously in a caravan we can't have all that, but we've got two fridges, or a fridge freezer and a fridge in the car. And I was lamenting for months and months before this trip, how am I going to store all of the fruit and veg um, that don't fit in the fridges? Um, no one in the forums could come up with any smart ideas or other than smart ass comments, of course, um, about how to do it. And we thought, okay, so what could we do? Um, in our last trip um, in Tasmania, we had everything in just a plastic tub. But the problem with that was condensation. So um, if the tub was in the sun or even on a warm day, it was summer in Tasmania, so that still meant about 25 degrees. Um, all of the things would sweat. So your bananas go brown, the carrots get the black spots on them and um, things just don't last very long. So we came up with this idea and it is still in trial, but we bought a just a cheap esky from Bunnings and for airflow, we've um, drilled these holes through the sides and the lid. Um, and then we just, stuck with good old-fashioned gaffer tape, um, some fly wire. We have discovered last week that tiny little ants did get in, but um, so far that hasn't been an issue. Um, so that is stacked full of our fruit. There's some pears over there for the kids, um, onions, and then I go to the next level of wrapping um, most things that sweat or get condensation in um, wax wraps as well. So that is in a trial process. Um, it's working okay, but I have to get quick and, and do it straight after buying the groceries so that things don't start to sweat for a day or so before I get round to actually wrapping them. Um, I've been doing this for three months so far, and so far I've only had about two cases of mouldy um, produce that I've had to throw away um, but that was on the 40 degree days when there was just nowhere cold to put anything in the fridges were really struggling those days. Um, I'll show you fridges over here. <laughs> the fridge and freezer that we've got in the caravan is a 75 litre dual zone ever cool fridge freezer um, and the reason why we bought that is because it actually fits the tray here which slides out. Um, incidentally, because the kids kept um, hitting their heads on the very sharp corners here, we've fashioned this little safety device um, and we haven't had any more head injuries since. We've also got these um, on Velcro patches corner protectors there because those are also very sharp for a kid about that high. Um, so this we always put the cover on. Um, you could set this up in whatever configuration that you like, but we find that um, we do have a lot of frozen food. So the freezer um, has that much room in it. <laughs> um, and I personally like the tray that comes in with um, 
this side because you've got a shallow section where you'd put all of your little jars and condiments and um, little things like that. Whereas the other side, I just did the groceries yesterday so the fridge and freezer is completely jam packed full. Um, that's how much you can fit in the other side of the fridge. And in the car, we've got a 45 litre angle fridge over there. I'll show you that in a second. We've got that on a slide, this tough terrain slide. And because I'm a little tiny person, I need a step over here to get it in and out. So you push it in and out like that, pull it out. And we were so sick of holding this up and it's smacking us in the heads that we fashioned this little thing up here, which is just, why don't you do that before? Or supply it, Engel, come on. Um, so in here, we keep all of our picnic gear, all of our drinks um, and anything we need in the car for when we do just little camp getaways. Cooking, that's how we do it at Forward Adventures.